Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews. This is going to be a review of Scar. The art doesn't look bad. Actually, it looks pretty cool on the card. He has a sword. He's posed. Looking pissed off. <laughs> Series 3016. This is Scar out of the package. And it is just an amazing and excellent figure. Uh, Nameplate says Scar. 016. First I want to show you the details on this figure. It's just really amazing. You could see his sword. They've used this bulky body a lot and yet they add so much and change it around by adding new parts that you really can't tell that it's the same basic mold. And it really works for Hasbro. I mean they have a winner in this bulky body mold and Scar is one of their best but it's tough to say because Thanos, uh, Apocalypse and others also use this mold or parts of it and so I really can't say it's the best in a way because a lot of them are just really good as I said it's a winner you look at the details here before we get to the artic articulation Look at his straps here, straps here. Look at that. This is his sword holster. You can see the details in the straps. There's like a little circle chain there. To, you can see his skirt here. Look right in the front. Has a little pouch bag here. You can see the armor. Armor here straps and armor here. Uh, look at the feet, the boots. Armor, armor. Details here, down here. It's a really detailed figure. He can hold his uh, sword. Let's take a look at the sword. It's basic plastic look to it. Uh, it does have uh, brown here at the hilt, and you can see it's like rope here. You saw the sword that it fits on his right hand, and yet it also fits on his left hand as well, so he could grip it in either hand. That's cool. On his back, you could put the sword this way, or you could put the sword that way. One thing I noticed right away is the articulated head and neck. Look at this. Look at the way he poses down his head. That's amazing. Uh, most figures don't have that range of motion. Look at that. This is an incredible range of motion. Here's the head again. Looking down. That is really cool. And the, the facial expression looks serious with the eyes, the mouth, just the whole expression. Really nice. The hair going down. And yet, as I said, the hair doesn't get in the way. Look at that. The hair doesn't get in the way at all. Side to side easy, up and down easy. Really nice. Uh, shoulder, in and out, up and down, uh, bicep, has the bicep cut here. One point of articulation at the elbow. Left hand can easy 360. Has an open grip on it. The right shoulder, same thing. In and out, up and down. Bicep cut here. One point of articulation at the elbow. 360 right hand. Has a grip to hold his sword as well. Upper torso here. Uh, up and down, side to side moves easy. Nothing at the waist, but this cut is so low, it's practically like a, a waist articulation point. Ball jointed, hips here, in and out, up and down is no problem. Does have the upper thigh cut that Hasbro has been using. Uh, so I got double knee articulation, and so that's pretty cool for such a big character to have double knee articulation like that. And for the feet, 
it's basically, it's kind of stiff in the sculpt. It's just up and down a little bit. No side to side, but you can 360 it. Uh, same deal with the right foot 360 here. No up and down, really. It's just very limited because of the sculpt, probably. Overall, just a really articulated, fantastic look for the figure. Uh, Scar is definitely better than I thought it would be as an action figure in terms of the overall presentation uh, of sculpt, of detail, and of look. And worthy of your collection, uh, this is just a great figure. What do you mean I look like a green Conan the Barbarian? Conan got nothing on me.